Clinical Scenario A 60-year-old female with a history of chronic kidney disease, stage 3, type 2 diabetes mellitus, and hypertension is admitted to the hospital for an acute exacerbation of heart failure. She is started on intravenous furosemide, 40 mg, for fluid overload, and is also receiving IV fluids. Her current medications include metformin 500 mg twice daily, lisinopril 10 mg daily, and aspirin 81 mg daily. Her vital signs on admission are BP 145 over 85 mm of mercury, heart rate 98 BPM, respiratory rate 20 per minute, temp 98.2 degrees Fahrenheit 36.8 degrees Celsius, and SPO 294% on room air. 24 hours after starting furosemide therapy, the patient begins to experience confusion, dizziness, and rapid, shallow breathing. Her laboratory results show a pH of 7.48, bicarbonate, HCO3, of 28 milliequivalent per liter, and ACO2 of 24 millimeters of mercury. Her sodium is 134 milliequivalent per liter, potassium is 2.8 milliequivalent per liter, and creatinine is 1.8 milligrams per deciliter. Which of the following is the most likely cause of the patient's current symptoms? A. Metabolic acidosis due to kidney dysfunction and fluid imbalance. B. Respiratory alkalosis due to hyperventilation in response to heart failure. C. Metabolic alkalosis due to diuretic therapy and potassium depletion. D. Respiratory acidosis due to hypoventilation and fluid overload. E. Diabetic ketoacidosis exacerbated by heart failure and dehydration. Answer. Metabolic alkalosis due to diuretic therapy and potassium depletion. Rationale. The most likely cause of the patient's symptoms is metabolic alkalosis, which can occur due to the use of loop diuretics, such as furosemide. Furosemide increases urinary excretion of potassium and the resultant hypokalemia, K plus 2.8 milliequivalent per liter, leads to the development of alkalosis. This is reflected in the elevated bicarbonate, HCO3, level of 28 milliequivalent per liter, and pH of 7.48. The confusion, dizziness, and rapid, shallow breathing are consistent with the neurological effects of alkalosis and hypokalemia. Monitoring electrolytes during diuretic therapy is essential to prevent these complications.